Yo. What is up, suck mother lovers? I deserve, you deserve it. <laughs> How y'all doing, suck mother lovers? Mama D, I can't. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, suck mother lovers, I wanna get right up into this finale, if that's what you wanna call it. It was a couple of moments I was like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. But other than that, I was like, this what you call it? It's just not a finale to me, but whatever. So the episode starts with Thought Thought and Zeno with his no neck having an ass going to look at invitations. Now, I immediately was like, why are they rushing? Like, why are they getting married in two days like they Lebanese's or whatever? Like, damn, what's the rush? Like, is she pregnant or something? And then finally she's like, you know what, Zeno? I just really want us to wait like a month or something, and then we can possibly get married. And then he's like, well, you still gonna want to marry me? Hell yeah, she gonna wanna marry your money. I mean, you. Cause you know it is about the love. Where the hell is the tea? Mm. Any kind of tea will do it. So Waka is really, uh, Waka and Tammy are really on this whole thing of trying to have a baby. And Tammy is tr pretty much so serious about it. She done brought the damn cup to them. And I was like, should he go do it in the bathroom and then come back and bring it to you? I mean, it's not Burger King, you can't have it your way. But clearly she was like really serious. Now I'm gonna go ahead on the skip to them actually going to the clinic or whatever. I, I, I mean, it was really, that was probably one of the realest parts of the whole show is when he found out, like, he kind of was trying to make jokes. You know, you kind of get nervous and you make jokes. Like, ah, you stupid, you know, I'm dying, you know, and stuff like that. Like, he was kind of like that until the guy was like, okay, it's, you have 10,000. It's supposed to be like 20 million. And he was kind of like, oh, man, that's pretty low, man. My little man ain't swimming too fast. No, they're barely swimming. Like, they floating in this bitch. You know, but it, it just... Just to see them like kind of go in that motion, like damn, like you know, so many people in the world that don't need to have kids are always the ones that can just say, like, "I'm pregnant, hello, I'm pregnant," and then the other ones that go hard and hard. And they really, really try. People that really are deserving to be parents, and I'm not saying this because you know he's a millionaire or whatever he is, or right there at a thousandaire. I don't know, but just the fact that these people really want to give that love to a child, and you know they have these struggles. But I'm sure with the, the way their money is set up, they ain't gonna have no problems. She'll be pregnant by the time the season, by the time the reunion come around or something. So Nico recall, recording a song called Shyrod, stop. Don't even bring him in that. Are you serious? Like, if he is not showing that he is capitalizing on the fact that this was a leaked tape, I don't know what else. So she goes to talk to him about everything. He like, I'm getting a divorce. And then, first things first, I mean, I thought the rules were you don't give your source. Like, and it, it, so I feel like at a point, your source don't even have to say, man, don't say I said it. Now, I'm sure he wasn't worried because he wanted Nico to know, like, you left me, you broke my heart, then I'm going to get you back and I'm going to make sure that none of you little women want you because you don't want me. That's what I think Nico's ex-boyfriend felt. That's just whatever. But she's just like, well, I heard it. I heard it from him. And she told me that she was secretly recording me and you was doing this and you was doing that. And then I, yeah, yeah. I was like, why does Mimi go from like five to 50 in like 0. 0.2 seconds? Like, I'm like, what happened, Manisha? Like, she just all of a sudden just run you like, and her favorite, like, I fucking leave. Okay, just why can't you? You always have to have a dramatic exit like that. You should get that checked out. So Rashida has her event and she pretty much has the, the guest list real limited because she like, this person don't get, I'm surprised she had half of the people that she there because nobody get along with nobody. And she was like, I'm so surprised the live was around the corner. Uh, that wasn't for lipstick, honey. They was trying to get on a love and hip hop Atlanta. They was like, girl, you know they filming. Let's go get some lipstick. That was smart though. That was, you was real, real smart with what you did, girl. You better market yourself. But then Benzino is sitting there talking to this guy that was the producer for the Puerto Rican Fake Princess little video shoot. But I immediately was like, why are they sitting up there talking like some bitches? I was like, like they for, for real to a point that even when the guy said, I mean, I get somebody here that even had sex, and it was like, oh, and he like literally sipped the tea, and I was like, uh, like for real, they bring the dude outside, and I'm like, Jaws, are you banging the driver too? Like every. Everybody say ba bang bang. Oh, like for real? Like girl, like damn. And then the thing about it is the driver is the person that brings you to all the creep, 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 creep zones. And he takes you to all the spots. So basically when you done with him, you go in the house to all these other people. I mean, well, at least he was bringing you to uh, mansions and stuff. Because if he'd have said that he was bringing you to the Pretty Kitty pro uh, Projects or something, then you're going to uh, step your game up a little bit for real. Mm, Cold-blooded. Three months though? Damn. You been wanting them free rides, huh? Steven gonna whoop your ass. No, for real, I don't play with that violent stuff. Like, 
when I say whoop your ass, I mean like, not for real. I'm for real, like, I like to say that on record. I don't play that violent shit. It's so funny how Carly Red is always a person. Now she just had to spill the tea. She got to make sure that her friend knows what the hell the people are talking about her for. Yeah, you ain't spilling your own tea with your nasty self. Carly girl, you, what are you, like 59? What, how old are you? Damn, like, shouldn't you be reading a book? Reading Harry Potter to your grandchildren or something? She do got a nice body to be her age. I don't even know how old Carly Red is. But she damn sure older than me, so I need to get in the gym. I'm going to the gym in the morning. I ain't playing. So Zeno and Stevie are talking or whatever, and Stevie is in this confessional. He's like, I don't even understand why Zeno's getting in the middle of it. I'm like, you don't understand. I understand because Zeno act like a biatch too. That's why he in the middle. He like, who you talking to? Who you talking to? I don't think you, you ain't going to talk to my boo like that. Like, he is just... Oh, like maybe if his neck was longer, he would like start acting more like a man or even if he was an inch tall or something. But he just whines and like, what makes him think that he got to protect that thought? Like, she's good. She can protect herself. Like, for real. Like, but he's finally, Stevie J admits that he banged him. And then when he admits it, clearly you can tell that they've already had issues because in the confessional, now he's admitting it, but then Zeno's talking about, oh, he only admitted it because all this stuff that's going on. He want to be able to say he smashed the homie and all that. Aren't you the one that came out with that song? Oh, how the tables have turned. He really smashed your homie. Every time you lay with that thought, thought. Just know that the thought, thought has Stevie J in her mouth, mouth. Mm, mm. When Walker and uh, Tammy went to the clinic, I was like, why is she dressed in her stiletto? Pumped! It, I was like, why are you dressed like that? But then I was like, oh, was she going in the room with him? They came out real fast, though. Mm, I guess them little white heels really did work. Did y'all notice that when Stevie J and Jocelyn was talking about the pool, Jocelyn never actually denied. She was talking about, you know, you getting all this information from them. You know he don't want us together. But she never said... I did not like, she said something about they wish or something like that, but she never really, to me, and maybe I missed it, but she never really admitted that she didn't sleep with them. And she's talking about they going around saying that they slept with me, they wish, but she just never said, I did not sleep with the driver. The butler did it, or nothing. But she is getting her karma tenfold. She's talking about, you hurt my soul, Stevie. You are everything that I wanted to do. But I did not realize that Stevie, like, I know that I say I turn in Harpo, but Stevie J is really that. like. Who in the hell get mad at their lover or their partner or their spouse or whoever and you go hide that shit? I'm finna burn this house down if you don't tell me where my stuff is. Where's my computer? Where's my iPad? Where's my phone? Like, who does that? Like, is that not elementary? Like, I'm gonna go hide your stuff. Like, she told me, oh, you getting my Chanel purses and stuff, Stevie? I didn't ask for this. Don't you have like 99 other purses? You can't just go carry it to Chloe? You gotta look for Chanel? What up? But she did get that ring back, so I guess she over it for now. Just until the finale comes out. But she did say she was going to whoop the hell out of Zeno ass. She said she going to stone him, maybe make his neck grow out. <laughs> but I can see the hurting eyes. But I can't even really feel sorry for her because she was boasting and popping and calling and Mimi the maid and all that stuff or whatever. Like, girl, you and your breasts are not exempt from the rules. Karma is not exempt. And it comes around harder and stronger, boo. I want Mama D to stop her music career before it starts. I deserve, you deserve, y'all deserve, suck a mother loves deserve. In that order. Didn't I say on last uh, review that Mimi and Stevie J was probably gonna get back together? Y'all gonna learn today to listen to me. I told y'all I got some of that stuff up in my head that make me kind of see the future. This is just for good TV. But he was just like, come on, baby, don't cry. I was like, baby, don't you mean boo? Uh, something else, baby mama, like something. I was like, ooh, I know Jocelyn has punched him in the face like nine times watching this episode. Like, really, really, Stevie? He said that. But I was like, what does this mean? And then like, Nene was kind of looking. I was like, are they really finna get together? Like, but he apologized. Y'all could tell Stevie wanted to cry. And I actually felt sorry for Mimi because she really did make a lot of like bad decisions that I know. Excuse me. Part of her, like, doing this whole thing was to get back. Like, I'm about to be on top. You know, you got your little Puerto Rican, uh, I don't even want to call her a princess. What's under a princess? A frog? She's something. Anyway, 
you got that little girl over there. So I think that it was kind of like karma that kind of came back and bit her in the butt. But it was so funny when she was like, I don't know why I keep getting involved with bad men. He was like, don't you compare me to that motherfucker? I was like, now I will say this. Stevie is definitely sleazy, for sure. But the level of sleaziness of that damn uh, Nikesha is just too much. Like that man, now he had some serious like he really made sure that he was re relevant on this show and sure enough they showed his damn thing talking about shower rod i was like he's smart I ain't gonna even he he came and showed the situation shade what my shades well at the end of the day this is gonna be something interesting i cannot wait to see the finale i know it's gonna be part nine of them places so i'm looking forward to seeing the uh the finale so we can see what the fizzle has really going on y'all know stevie j sitting next to uh Jaza, so clearly uh, yeah, he didn't mean that much to Mimi. I mean, I guess he's there, but he's there for him, for the baby, too. Anyway, Sucker Mother Lovers, as always, this video is definitely long enough. Thank you guys so much for all the love. I read all your comments, and I try to respond or something and all that good stuff. Keep them coming, because they really keep me going. As always, I think I said this already, but I'm going to say it again. This video is definitely long enough. I'm out. Honey, this reunion about to be filled with a lot of silicone and drama. I can't wait.